Hello, 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 hello! <laughs> so this is the crew number one. Hey buddies! We are leaving this uh, rainy Vancouver and we are moving to we are moving to, to the mountains. So uh, see you see you maybe later when it's gonna be completely when we are gonna be surrounded by darkness or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> The road here was disgusting, it was raining, it was darker than darkness and now we are just gearing up for our night hike to the best place uh, in the universe. Number one is ready, number two is not ready at all. This is our road, straight ahead. We started our hike here at 9 p.m. Uh, no, it was almost 10, it was 9.45. Now it's, what's that? Oh no, it was 8, 8. Okay, so we started our hike from, from the car at 8.45. And now it's uh, after midnight. We are finally here, we are exhausted. We were carrying heavy backpacks, but it was so worth it because now we have to enjoy just the beer. Some uh, some whiskey and tomorrow some uh, some limes. Good morning. We made it to the next day. We were up until until three three something. So uh, it's not really morning anymore. It's uh, 10, 10 30. Our second second group is coming. They're on the way from Vancouver. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, this throne. The outside is uh, nicely done. You always know that uh, something really good is uh, awaiting you inside when something uh, like this artistic uh, uh, piece is right here in the front. What we've got inside. Air, air conditioning is on. Now I'm gonna do some business here. Water here is pretty expensive. It's not easy than you think. Yeah, it's expensive. After the breakfast, we are finally on our our mission to to find some uh, some good lines. It's uh, 1 p.m., so early morning for us. Thomas is uh, cutting the skin track. Temperature is around zero today. It's overcast, and that's exactly what we want. The alpine is a little bit under the clouds, so we are probably gonna stick only between the trees. It's gonna be. A <laughs> gonna be a good day. When we went up, I saw uh, an ice fall and I was like, ah, oh, maybe this is gonna be a good idea to maybe jump over it. So I just climbed over some cliff side and I am right now above the, the edge right here at least we have nice views we basically started down there and it was steep it was really steep now I'm gonna do a transition and uh, yeah. and send it send it
transition back to our uh, hiking mode. That's probably gonna be the, the end of the day. And uh, we already know what's gonna be on the dinner plate. It's gonna be again round two of uh, whiskey. Okay, we are almost ready. This is gonna be an interesting ride somewhere there. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, completely dark again, and uh, we are heading to the to the hut. The run down was amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't stamp the landing on that cliff, but uh, I don't really care. I'm finally in the big country this season, so I'm I'm just simply happy to be here, just walking with my phone in the middle of nowhere in the forest and talking to myself like retard. But uh, that's, uh, that's what I love, you know? All right, so we are here, and uh, as I told you, here is our dinner. Mm -hmm. the, the crew number two, Milan and Marek. Now we are gonna have a feast because we are so hungry. My stomach is doing disgusting sounds, so, uh, oh yeah. Second morning, me with Milan went again for the water. Yeah, today I hope it's gonna be a little bit earlier start. And uh, after after the breakfast, we are gonna go to a different zone. Today we are gonna have some sun as well. Okay, guys, second day. When I'm comparing yesterday, we are doing pretty good progress because I think around this time I just uh, opened my eyes and maybe I was only thinking how I'm gonna warm up my water for breakfast so it's a little bit better day and if you see in front of us is a pretty nice playground Hmm Make, uh, make free ride we are climbing to the alpine, about the tree level, slowly, and at least we have this full moon because it was quite a late, late start. Me with Peter wanted to ski somewhere, and all fuck me, Naskarovia. This is the proof how. I love my friends. <laughs> okay, I am gonna tell you the story maybe next time. Take a look on this uh, Japanese tourist. I even don't know how to describe this animal right here. So, Marek is basically the first person here in Canada who I, who I met who, who lives the same lifestyle like me because when I came here, basically the problem was that I met people who like football, people who like sitting at home, and I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, where, why I am I in a society like this? And one time I went to Whistler for the first time, and I opened up the door to, to one hut where I lived there, and I saw one guy with a, with a flat shield on his cap, a baseball cap. I was like, shit man, like this is, this must be someone who, who knows what he's doing right. And I asked him like, man, like are you, are you skiing or something? And I was like, oh yeah man, like I'm, I'm free skier, I'm doing 1260s, I'm the first Slovak who was spitting like tornado, you know? And that's how we met, man. <laughs> <laughs> We decided to go, we are traversing over there and then we are gonna go up there and maybe we are gonna scroll on this side or maybe on the other side. Alright, we are ready for Shreddy. Peter is setting the drone for epic shots.
This run was epic. Wow, we, were, we had such a close call with Thomas. That was crazy. Ah, oh, that was exactly what I wanted. And now you are gonna be a witness of pornographic views 2.0. Just a second. Be patient. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, 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 check this shit out. Way faster than the first one, steep like hell. And now basically we are heading back to for our stuff on the hut and we are heading back down to our cars. It was a fruity day. Some lines, some pow. Now we are just heading down. And uh, it's gonna be fun because we are on our split boards separated but without skis skins so it's fast <laughs> safely back on the parking lot made it all right guys i just came home no one from us wanted to go home because if we had enough food and if we don't have responsibilities I think one of those weekends where everything was just perfect I was just craving for some backcountry skiing and man like this weekend was amazing